I'm Melissa. And I'm Hira. And this this is is UI What's Up? Today we are looking into the life and art of Elizabeth Catlett, namesake of Catlett Hall. Elizabeth Catlett attended the University of Iowa from 1938 to 1940. Um, She is the first African-American woman to graduate from the University of Iowa with an MFA. She then went on and started to work for about 20 years in Mexico, where she continued to do her incredible work, and certainly we are very fortunate that we have a lot of her work here on display in Catlett Hall. Let's jump over to UI Special Collections to find out more. We are excited to be here at the UI Special Collections, and we are very fortunate fortunate to have our university archivist, David McCartney, here with us. David has been at the University of Iowa for 17 years, and I heard you say you absolutely love this place and have loved your time here. I do. It's a privilege to be working here. That's wonderful. Well, we are very excited about the opportunity to learn today and and certainly look forward to what you will share with us about the collection and certainly about the incredible work of Elizabeth Catlett. Elizabeth Catlett was a pioneer in many respects, not only in the artistic community, but as a student here at the University of Iowa. She was not only the first woman, the first African American to receive a Master of Fine Arts degree in the United States. She found that she was really drawn to sculpting as a medium. She did some two-dimensional work as well. David, in honor of Black History Month, I know that Elizabeth Catlett certainly made a huge impact here on our campus, but there are a lot of other first uh, individuals here. Would you mind telling us a little bit more about, about those folks? We'll start with basketball. The University of Iowa was the first team in the Big Ten to feature an African-American athlete. This was in the 1944-45 season. Richard Culberson. Archie Alexander was the first African-American to graduate in the College of Engineering. There are steam tunnels throughout the campus that are designed to transport heat and uh, moisture to other parts of campus from one point to another. He designed that system. Alexander Clark, Jr., is, we believe, the first African-American in the United States to receive a law degree. He graduated from the law school here at the University of Iowa in 1879. His father, a few years later, decided to follow his son's footsteps, and he obtained a law degree from here as well. So what did you think? Here, as a new member of the University of Iowa community, I'm learning more about Elizabeth Catlett and certainly a lot of the first, those trailblazers, those individuals who made a way for people like me and like you to be members of the Hawkeye community. Um, it's been an amazing morning. And also, the Invisible Hawkeyes Gallery opens up right here in the University of Iowa Main Library Gallery on February 2nd. That's incredible. We want everybody to come out. Yes, check it out. Check it out. Until next time, go Go Hawks. Hawks!